Her nine thousands game room. Prime time wrestling. Woo! Okay, so I'm back again with another Wrestling Empire playthrough video, carrying on my career from last time. So, a quick recap. Yep, the uh, natural disasters had won the tag team champs. Some women's action happened. I didn't. I don't know who they are. And Brock Lesnar is coming to visit wrestling school, where I, of course, am having started the game recently. And I'll be going against Seabreeze in a singles competition in basically an empty locker room. Seabreeze is one of the characters in this game that is actually like an original character, not based off or a parody of some other wrestler. If you've tuned into this without having watched previously, Kerr 9000, this is me. That's just a you know a visual representation of me I've made in this game. I've not really programmed any moves so far, I'm just taking the set it gives me to start with. I've said before, I've been pretty big into wrestling in my life, I don't watch everything now. I just listen to some podcasts, watch highlights and tend to go back and watch a lot of old wrestling. I've recently been watching the Royal Rumbles from the year 1992, 93, 94, 95 just because I really like Royal Rumbles and I'll be excited when I get to do some of them in this game but for now let's see if I can get this Seabreeze fella I had to read up online to find out he was a created wrestler for this game because I had a look and was like oh, is he anybody? can I think of anybody it's supposed to be? And when I couldn't, I thought, well, either it's somebody so unknown you've never heard of them, or it's an original character. And yep, it's an original character. There's a few in this game, but not too many. Most of them are the parody-esque characters that I've, you know, said before. Okay, so, so far, it's taken me quite a bit of time to do very little. I've not wore him down much. But equally, he's not took a lot of energy off me. I am managing to build my special bar up a bit. So, fingers crossed there. Oh, up on the rope. Well, now, oh. And I'm out of the ring, crawling around. A few gut punches. Yeah, that's it, you get out. And get in again. Still trying to build that bar up. Oof. I think at some point I've definitely got to play around with my moveset on this. Oh, here's Brock Lesnar, or Jock Laser as it is to come into fear. I wonder who he's going to try and give a punch into, me or Breeze. That's my special done on it. Oh, but he's getting me. Great. Yep. Seems to have decided that he wants to give me a good kicking, or try. So, he's made it a bit of an impromptu two-on-one at the moment. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> makes my prospects for winning this match a little bit tougher here if he's going to keep getting his big shocking head involved in it. I have to admit, I am a big fan of Brock Lesnar. I just think the guy is an awesome, awesome wrestler. I even watched some of his MMA fights. Seriously scary dude. If I was going to talk about my favourite ever matches with Brock Lesnar, I really loved when Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle went to it. There was just something, both of them are great athletes and brilliant at the technical wrestling. I mean, you know, Brock now, basically you just get to see him be this big hoss who suplexes people and smashes them around. But a lot of people don't realise that in his early days, in like smoky wrestling and that, he used to do like full on moonsaults and stuff. 
but yeah, he did one in WWE at some main event where it looked like he was going to land on his head and you know break his melon open, and it it just doesn't seem to have been done that much since then. Maybe because the guys, you know, have a huge draw, and they don't want him to brain himself. Anyway, back back to the match. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's going all right. I seem to be having the upper hand of old Sea Breeze a little bit, but Brock definitely got in the way. I think if he'd not interfered and I'd managed to capitalise on my special, I might have finished this off, but who knows. Matches can go a decent distance in this game, because people don't just easily take to the pins. And sometimes it can get a little bit frustrating when you've tried and tried to pin someone and they're constantly getting up. But this game just has a replayability to it. I just find myself wanting to jump on and keep going. It's just interesting to see where your career will end up. You can end up tagging with somebody or somebody managing you. Or, you know, things that you never intended on. You know, rivalries spring up with people. You change promotions. It really does show how much thought has gone into this. And yeah, I said it in the last video, and I'll say it again. It is incredible when you consider this entire game is made by one man. There has been games with massive teams that have far less sort of built into them than this. Oh, I thought I was going to get a count for a second there. But like I said, it ain't always easy to pin people in this game. to beat him down a bit more. Maybe I can build my uh, yellow meter up again and go, oh no, small package. One, Cheeky bastard nearly had me there. As I say, maybe I can build my bar up and go for another finisher. One. See, even then when he's got like no life, he wasn't taking anything when I was trying to pin him. He's like, no, you are not having me like that. Oh, accidentally switched on to trying to attack the uh, coach. Basically, if I've not said it, the name at the top shows you one side and who you're targeted at on another side. So you can switch between, you know, which wrestler you want to hit and accidentally sometimes switch on to referees and things. Yeah, I think he was trying to climb the rope for me then, and he ain't getting up there. I'm definitely looking forward to playing against characters who are based on real life people more. Because it just means more, doesn't it? If you if you know who it's supposed to be, then you know it's somebody like Jake the Snake Roberts or Macho Man, and you know things about them, it means more than beating up some invented nobody. Although, you know, that invented nobody seems to be uh, giving it me pretty good right now. This would be an embarrassing loss, to be fair, this early on. That's it, come get some. It's pretty cool that you can talk people. Oh, that's it, out of the ring. Maybe this is going to have to be a count out if, you know, the match is getting towards the end. You've only got so much time. And I'll take a win any way I can get it. Any win is better than a loss in it. Oh. 
Oh, I'm clearly getting groggy. Oh, good old rope break. Not got long left to try and win this one. Need to pull something out of the bag. I want my career to start getting some momentum. You see, at the moment I'm not making any money, you only get expenses in wrestling school. And I need to get hired by some company so I can actually get money coming through the door. And start trying to make some form of career here. Because... As far as I remember, if your money's all gone, it's uh, adios amigo. Not long left at all now. Come on. Oh, no, he's got a... I've got a crushing feeling with not very long to go, this is going to be a draw. Yep. Nobody wins. I love it how now my character talks about how Jock Laser cost him the match and, you know, if you mess with my career I'll do yours in. In fact, let's get out of there and give him a good slap. So again, you know, I didn't win but I didn't lose, so it could be worse. It's not the starting point of my career I'd like, but I'll have to see where it goes from here. Seabreeze's status isn't affected by the match. And my status isn't affected by the match. At least I didn't get, you know, less popular. And again, look, I'm losing money here. So, what's happening in the world of wrestling in this game? Let's see. Judgment Dave, so that'll be like Sid Justice, has defeated Perfect Sean, so that'll be Mr. Perfect to become the United States Champion. Lucha Libre Wrestling become more popular and Hecklehorn has left wrestling school and I'm going to face David Highbrow in a few weeks time. Okay, that's Kerr 9000, the Chrome Face Man, signing out for this one. A Squiffy Bear Production Hi, it's Kerr9000, the Chrome Face Man. I'd just like to say thank you for making it to the end of my video. I've got lots of stuff on my channel. My horror house doing horror reviews, games room doing games, sci-fi station. It's absolutely chock-a-block full. I can also be found on the Retro Gamer U forum, which is full of great people, great laugh. At the end of this video, there's going to be some little icons to tick if you want to subscribe. A link to one video, a link to a playlist. I'd also like to recommend the wonderful, talented Just Jessica, who does cosy games like Dreamlight Valley, and is my supportive partner. Thank you ever so much, once again, for watching my video, and particularly if you follow me, thank you for all your support, and have a great rest of your day.